Hey everyone, this is Dan. I'd like to provide you with a quick update of the ETF TMV. TMV is an ETF that's pegged to the yield of treasury bonds that are with maturities of 20 years or more. TMV has gone up more than 50% since the beginning of this year. If you have been investing in TMV since the beginning of the year, you have certainly realized quite a bit of profit. Today, I was surfing the internet. I found that at this particular website, they track the amount of assets being managed under the TMV ETF fund. And as you can see from this chart, the total assets under TMV has gone up more than 50% in the last couple of months. It shot up from around $370-380 million about one or two months ago to now more than $510 million. Certainly, this particular ETF is gaining a lot of popularity. I know a lot of people are still not familiar with the concept of investing in an ETF that's not pegged to certain stocks, but pegged to the yield of treasury bonds. I've been buying TMV since about two, three months ago and certainly have already been seeing quite a bit of profit. If you look at the TMV chart, which is the candlestick chart, since the beginning of the year, it's gone up 61% already as of market close today. In the meanwhile, SPY is down 8% since the beginning of the year and QQQ is down 15% since the beginning of this year. With this bearish market since the beginning of the year, it's increasingly difficult to find any stock or ETF that will be actually making money. Mostly everything has been losing money, especially some of the tech stocks. But TMV has been one very shiny spot in my portfolio. If you look at the daily chart for TMV, here I'm plotting again the candlestick chart representing the price movement of TMV. Then I plotted the Bollinger Bands. Then the 50-day moving average and the blue dashed line, the 100-day moving average, the yellow dashed line, the 150-day moving average, the purple dashed line, and the red dashed line, which is a 200-day moving average. You can see that TMV has been going up parabolically in the last couple of weeks. And if you look at RSI, definitely is flashing overboard. Actually, the last time it was as high as this one, it was more than a year ago. Last time when RSI was approaching about 70 or 80 here, it came down for a few days, hit the middle of the Bollinger Band, then it bounced up again. And then when it hit another high point here, again, it got support at the middle of the Bollinger Band, came down, hit that support line, and then resuming going up again. Although in a few spots that it actually went below the middle of Bollinger Band before it started to recover. Therefore, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised that in the next few days, the price of TMV might go down a little bit, and hopefully it will be supported at or before the middle of the Bollinger Band, then it will start marching up again. You can see DMI has been bullish since the beginning of March, and MACD is being bullish since a couple of weeks ago. Definitely, it's very bullish all around, although we might have an overbought situation and we might see the price going flat or maybe pulling back a little bit in the next few days. Overall, I think it's still a pretty good investment. There's a catch. There's a catch though with regard to TMV. In the video I published yesterday, which was a deep dive of the TMV ETF, I did some calculations and found that the average annual leakage of TMV is 19 to 20%. That means even if the 20-year treasury bounds has the same yield for the entire year, and if you've been holding TMV during that year, the value of your TMV will go down 19 or 20 percent. And that's leakage because of the expenses in operating a leveraged ETF like the TMV. And therefore, TMV is not something that I'm going to be holding for several years. And actually, I'll probably be holding TMV up to maybe at most two or three months and when the treasury yields start going down I most likely sell and then wait for the momentum to turn bullish again then I'll buy in again I would definitely not be holding TMV for the long term primarily because of the leakage if you want to know more about TMV 
please refer to the video I published yesterday, April 17th. In that video, I provided a lot of details, a lot of data about this particular ETF. At this point, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my Twitter account. In addition to subscribing to my YouTube channel, with my Twitter account, I provided updates to my followers almost on a daily basis about some of my trades as well as some of the latest news developments. For example, on February 23rd, I tweeted that I bought TMV and naturally those shares are up 40% already so far. I sold some of the shares for a short term gain, but I'm keeping the rest and they're up 40% already. And then I tweeted on March 17th that I bought more TMV shares. And so far those shares have been up 28% already. And then on April 13th, there was a intraday dip on TMV. I took the opportunity, bought more shares, and those shares are up 29% already. So far, indeed, TMV has been a very rewarding investment for me. If you like what you've seen so far, I'd like to suggest that you click the like, subscribe, and notification button so that you'll be notified when I publish my next video. It'll also encourage me to make more videos like this in the future. Thank you very much. And in the meanwhile, very much appreciate your comments questions and suggestions. I'd like to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor. I share my analyses and stock trading strategies for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you want to buy or sell stocks, you should make your own decisions and you should definitely consult with your financial advisors before you do so. This wraps up my video for now. I will chat with you again in the next few days. In the meanwhile, I'd like to wish you the very best of luck with your financial investments.